I'm Deborah Stolberg. I'm a family physician and um, I'm on faculty at the University of Chicago. The rules about what you can and can't do in a Catholic hospital are set by the bishops. Most women, when they walk in in a Catholic hospital, do not know what they're getting into. Pete loved his white shoes so much that he sang this song. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. I do I deeply consider myself a person of faith. It is my motivation in life. How about this one? When I was fired by St. Francis, my issue was that it came from the top down and that the hierarchy would cause me to be fired from a job that I loved and that I was good at a job that knew full well that I was married to Donna. The people of the church sometimes are much more open and accepting than, than the laws of the church. I love the people I served. I love the people I was working with. It was the best job I'd ever had. Nosotros nos movimos por la violencia en Colombia. Cuando me mudo a, a vivir a Chicago, ya estamos en la misa, conversamos con el padre y él me ofrece trabajo como secretaria. Y yo supuse que tendría todos los beneficios que tiene cualquier otro empleado. Yo tengo endometriosis y si me da cobertura, mejoraría mi calidad de vida. Lo único para mí que funcionaba eran pastillas y me dice, mira, estas son cosas que nosotros no cubrimos. Y era como te gusta y si no te gusta, pues renuncia al trabajo y recién llegada con un esposo y dos niños, no es tan fácil. There are many services that women get that many in the general public, myself included, have no idea aren't allowed under Catholic hospitals, even just uh, birth control. There were a few cases, but one was an ectopic pregnancy. The doctor said we offered her, because of the religious directives, the opportunity to sign out as if she were going home and to go to a different hospital where they could possibly offer her medical management. To be a mother of several children, you know, to be living on the west side of Chicago in poverty and to say, well, we're not going to do this for you here, but you can just go someplace else. It feels cruel. A woman fired from her job as a food pantry coordinator for an area parish after a local newspaper made public her same-sex marriage. You know, you, you had somebody who was very good at the job, who told you at the beginning of seeking em the employment that she was a lesbian and that she was married to me. Oh, I think that's why I said I felt so betrayed. Yeah. Because I said it, that wasn't going to matter. And in the end it did. Yeah. So. Para mí como mujer, tener que ir a hablar con un sacerdote hombre sobre algo que debería estar hablando con un ginecólogo, una ginecóloga en un hospital. But whether the bishops should have the right to control the health care and the decisions, the very intimate personal decisions of patients who get the care in hospitals, simply because that hospital is owned or controlled by a Catholic entity, is not a matter of religious freedom to me. It's not just about religion, it's really about corporations and conglomerates. The numerous faiths and the numerous backgrounds um, that makes up America is one of our greatest strengths as a society. It was faith in many ways that started this country. Uh, people leaving places where they were persecuted that came to this country so they could have religious freedom. And now religious freedom is getting reinterpreted and it's about freedoms that are taken away from people. Para mí, ser activista de salud reproductiva es ser responsable de que otras mujeres cambien esa narrativa culpativa de sus propias decisiones. Al final del proceso solamente Dios es el que tiene la respuesta a nuestras acciones. Mm -hmm.